What is up, Cincy fans? It's Patricia, and welcome to another week of Tester Tuesday. You guys vote. I warm, I review. These reviews are based on my home. After almost 300 votes, we have three cents to discuss. They're all limited time offers, so let's get started. All right, let's talk about our first place scent for the week. It is Sea Breeze. This one had 27% of the vote. It's almost this Caribbean, there's a little hair there, Caribbean blue, sea blue colored wax, and I would say it's about a medium intensity on cold sniff. This is part of the Noche de San Juan, sorry, <laughs> collection, which is available May 27th, which fe features Puerto Rico. So this one is the only scent that is offered as part of that collection. There is also a warmer. So let's read the scent description since he says, a tropical celebration of juicy orange, coconut palm, and white floral dancing in the wind. I think that's a really, really great scent description because it talks about tropical, it talks about wind, it talks about orange, coconut palm, and white floral, and you definitely get all that, but in different proportions. So for me, the predominant note is kind of like a sea air, fresh, tropical coconut vibe, and then there's a little bit of citrus with that juicy orange. It's not orangey zest, it's kind of like a juicy brightness. And then also, it get you talk a little bit about florals. So. What I want you to think about with this scent, this is the way my brain thinks about this. There's a family, they've rented a car, they're in Puerto Rico, and they're going towards the ocean. And the mom and the dad, also known as Ocean, ocean Air and Coconut Water, and Mahalo Coconut, they're in the front seat. They're the bigger prominent presence in the car. And then you have two little kids in the back. And the two little kids are something like a blue grotto, which is giving that lush, tropical feel with a little bit of citrus and then you also have luxe vanilla which is a very special floral vanilla scent and that's what i get with sea breeze now it's funny i was warm in this and i'm like there's a note i know there's a note it reminds me a little bit of a melon note from arctic kiss maybe from the scent blue but then i kind of narrowed it in and i thought it really reminds me of the scent that i get from luxe vanilla so there's a special floral in here and i oops this clam is very wimpy and I feel like whatever floral is in here is also showing up in here. But like I said, the little kids in the back are the lesser presence. It's mainly the ocean air and coconut water, Mahalo coconut kind of feel. So I think if you like any of those scents that I mentioned, then you want to pick this one up. I call this like a Mambo number no. five scent, which means a little bit of everything. It's got a little bit of everything, and usually those kind of scents do very well. All right, so let's talk about performance. So I took seven out of eight cubes and warmed it throughout my place. Here in my bedroom, I put four cubes total. I put two cubes in the bedroom part and two cubes in the bathroom part amongst two warmers. Day one, it was about eight out of 10 at its strongest. And then about 12 hours later, I would say it had dropped to about half that, maybe four out of 10. On day two, I could still smell it and it reminded me of a mild coconut blend. All right, I took three cubes and warmed it in the boys' room because I, I gave Ryan all three scents this week and he liked all three. So I decided to put this one in here. It was a little bit lighter there, three cubes amongst two warmers, seven out of 10. And on day one, that was its max. Day two, I have a note that I only left it half the day because it was a really light scent and hard to pick up. It just smelled like a very gentle coconut. So I left it about a day and a half in their room and probably a little bit more than a day and a half in my room. So like I said, if you like any of these scents, they're, they're kind of give, give you that overall feel. Not that they're saying that they're the same, but if you like any of these, maybe pick this one up. I have Mahalo Coconut, Ocean Air and Coconut Water, Blue Grotto, even scents like Honeymoon Hideaway, the, the freshness of Arctic Kiss, and the floralness of Lux Vanilla, then definitely want to pick this one up. I would say it would do best in medium spaces. I don't think it's strong enough for an open layout, so just keep that in mind. And would I be repurchasing this? I'm trying to be really good, but if it comes back next year, which I think it, it holds a chance of doing that, then I will definitely pick some up next year. So that was Sea Breeze. So let's talk about our second place scent for the week. It is Pink Pineapple and Sugar. This one had 19% of the vote. It came in second by just one vote. And it's this pretty pink colored wax, and it's about medium to medium light on Cole's Sniff, part of the summer collection, which launches June 1st. As we get closer to that June 1st launch date, you will see on the website, a banner that says summer collection down in the drop down menu under collections and all the products will be listed there and it'll say coming soon so for the category for this scent i would say it's a fruity 
sweet body care type scent. And let's read the scent description. Scentsy says, palm trees sway over exotic pink pineapple, fresh papaya, and crystallized sugar. So for me, this is a predominantly pink pineapple scent. And I think pink pineapple is just a little bit sweeter and less acidic. I think that's what my brain was reading. I get a sweetness. It doesn't remind me of the scent sugar sugar. <laughs> it reminds me of a sweet sugar. <laughs> Not, not aquiline is pink sugar, just a sugar. I don't get any papaya, so if papaya is like one of those death notes for you, I don't get that. And I think what I did discover was this it was a very familiar scent to me. I kept thinking, what does this scent smell like? <laughs> and I kind of eventually settled on the fact that I think there's a base note in here that they're not mentioning. And for me, it's cashmere. Because it almost reminded me if you took like a cube of hibiscus pineapple and maybe half a cube of cashmere and corduroy and mixed it together. Now let's talk about performance because I wouldn't say it, it's probably as strong as those two scents mixed together, but it still did okay. So I've warmed five out of eight cubes. I warmed three cubes in the boys' room. So we'll start off there. That's where I first warmed it. It was about seven and a half out of 10 in intensity there. Now it threw really strongly out of the room. So I would say throw was about a nine, but intensity was maybe like a seven, seven and a half. So it was a little bit stronger than I was expecting. It did better than I was expecting in that room. Now, ironically, this scent performed less well in the second place I warmed it. So I warmed it in the kids' bathroom and I thought to myself, as I was warming it and trying to figure out what it reminded me of, I thought I'll get a better read out of the kids' bathroom because it's a smaller space. So I put two cubes in the night sky and it didn't perform as well there. It might've been the warmer, I don't know, the day, humidity, whatever. I would say it was about six out of 10 max and I did leave it go a couple of days. I also left it go a couple of days in the boys room. So I think if you're someone that likes hibiscus pineapple or cashmere and corduroy, even like a fruitier spin of the scent Courage from the Mother's Day collection, then you might wanna pick this one up to give it a try. It's a spring summer leaning scent for sure. And I would say it's not strong enough for an open layout. I would say stick to bedrooms or bathrooms. It's not an overly unique scent because it did really seem familiar to me, but it was really enjoyable. So I don't think I'll need to repurchase anymore, but I really, really did like it. So that is pink, pineapple, and sugar. All right, let's talk about our third place scent for the week by one vote. It is Sunset Sky and Strawberry. This one is a, almost like a tropical orange peach kind of color. It had 19% of the vote. It's about a medium to medium plus on it cold sniff intensity. And I would put this in the fruity, fruity floral like woods section I'm not sure and it's part of the summer collection uh, launching June 1st as well so the scent description says sunset sky casts light on vibrant strawberry and white woods all right when you smell this I feel like you get the strawberry the most and since has a bunch of different strawberries and my brain went to the strawberry that I get from strawberry and rock melon now when I warmed it I, I kind of got that as well not really the rock melon part. I feel like if you took strawberry and rock melon and took out the rock melon and put in a body care, deep body care kind of a vibe, then th then you might get something like this. All right, as I was warming it in Erica's, Erica's room, I almost got a summer berry melon vibe from it as well. So kind of along that line, but more strawberry and rock melon strawberry, which is kind of like a zingy tangy strawberry. It's pretty strong too. And this scent did fairly well. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the other fruit that I picked up. I feel like there might be currant in here. I think that maybe is what makes it feel like a stronger, different strawberry. So anyway, moving on, let's talk about the White Woods and the Sunset Sky. So White Woods is, I think it's kind of like a traditionally more winter leaning note and it's got a lot of wood base and people use it in col uh, colognes and perfumes, I believe. But you also have Sunset Sky and I'm thinking, they highlighted that as a note. So is that a fragrance oil? So I looked it up and it, sure enough, <laughs> there's a fragrance oil. And it basically it says, sensual floral accord where top notes of bergamot and pear are embraced by a beautiful bouquet of jasmine and muguet. There you go. So I feel like if you took the Sunset Sky fragrance notes, which has kind of like a citrusy floral, and then you mix that with the white woods which is kind of like a little bit more deeper then those are like the mid and the base notes so i feel like the strawberry zingy strawberry comes out first it's there for a while and then on day two you're mostly getting the base notes and the base notes were hard for me to smell like i could smell them in the wax but they weren't throwing in the room the greatest 
So th there you go. Now before I move on, I'm just gonna show you, this wax is beautiful. Take a look at Erica's um, Moon Over Jupiter Warmer with the beautiful picture of the wax. It's just, it does really kind of look like a sunset sky. Anyway, let's talk about performance since I kind of hinted or alluded to that. So I put four cubes here in my bedroom and strength and throw on day one was about seven and a half to eight. And I have a note on day two, starting out, it was hard to smell the wax, but it still smelled. It just wasn't like permeating the room. It didn't smell like wax, it had no scent. It still had a bit of scent, but it was like one of those deep, like base note type of scents that just wasn't throwing very well in the room. Now Erica's room did very similarly, maybe was a touch stronger there, I'd say about eight out of 10. So in both places, I left it going a day and a half and then removed. It was so much stronger on day one than day two. So that's just my experience. So I think if you're someone that likes the scent strawberry and rock melon, and you could picture taking out the rock melon and putting in a body care-ish, floral, woodsy, ambery, earthy lean, um, then definitely give this one a try. I, I enjoyed it. I would say it's, it's probably like a late summer style scent. It kind of just reads that way to me. And I would say medium and closed spaces would be best. Um, would I be repurchasing this one? Probably not, but again, I still enjoyed it. It just probably was a one and done. So that is Sunset Sky and Strawberry. All right, welcome to the portion of the video where I'm gonna present to you some scents and you guys are gonna vote. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe. You'll be notified when I post the video. You have to vote by early Wednesday morning and you pick two different scents and you put them down in the comment section. And for some reason, if you're not able to subscribe on YouTube, then hop on over to my Instagram post, it's Patricia Gates, and you can vote on my post there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover three cents from pre that I've selected and we're gonna draw three cents from that box because <laughs> the box has been getting neglected. Now I was gonna do the Star Wars Outer Rim collection, but I don't have my third bar, it hasn't arrived yet. It's, it's still not, has been shipped, but it's showing that it's, you know, they're getting it. All right, so scent number one is going to be from the Summer Collection, Tropical Coconut Nectar. Scent number two, also from the Summer Collection, is Water Lily and Bergamot. Scent number three is the June scent of the month. It is Jam and Jubilee. Now let's go in the box, and what I might do is maybe I'll pick three um, from the current wax bars that we have, just because. Scent number four is Clean Breeze. Scent number five is Newborn Nursery. And scent number six is, oh look at this, Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. One of them has discolored to white. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. If you like these kind of videos, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to vote, and I will see you guys in the next video.